everybody! Hope that you're doing great today. I hope that the sound quality on this is okay and that the lighting quality on this is okay. I'm actually standing in my uh, kitchen slash living room of my current house. If you watched my last video, you saw that I did a video with my best friend Becca. We did a collab together uh, where we talked about how we are moving in together. So I'm actually moving to a town about three and a half hours away from where I live currently. Uh, but this is my house that I live in currently. So it's a cute little beach box. Yes, I do live at the beach. I live um, maybe like a quarter mile away from the beach. And I love it, but I grew up here in this beach area. And um, I'm looking forward to moving to a new area. Uh, we're gonna be moving to a bigger uh, city area, so it's gonna be really fun. And I'm really excited to live with Becca, so if you haven't checked out that video, it's just a good laugh. We've had a lot of good feedback so far from a lot of people that we know uh, that watched that video, and they had a really fun time just watching it because we were pretty ridiculous, which is kind of the way that we always are together. So it's gonna be quite an adventure for us and also for our husbands, who are also going to be living with us as well. The four of us are going to live together and it's going to be a crazy fun time. I'm a little bit hot right now. Um, I'm a little bit like sweaty because I just got back from walking back from the grocery store. This is what I decided to do today was give you a grocery haul of what I picked up at the grocery store today. It's like 12, 21 and I have been running around all morning. I literally left the house at 8.45 when Matt left for work. Today is my day off. Um, I left the house. I started kind of my trek. Uh, I came home and I made a cottage cheese pancake and um, I will be doing a, a uh, recipe for that on my blog. Be sure to check that out. I will leave the link down below when I get that posted um, because it's delicious. And I had it this morning with some blueberries that I picked up from the uh, Fresh Market. So I went to Fresh Market, I went to Walmart, I went to the produce stand, then I had to go over to another local grocery store that we have here, which is what I walked to because I live like right behind it. So. Anyway, I just got back from my walk uh, to the grocery store. I have a ton of stuff that I want to share with you guys today, so excuse me while I cool off and do this grocery haul with you guys today. So it's mostly a lot of healthy stuff, a lot of produce, a lot of good stuff. I'm going to give you a little uh, idea of the things that I like to make with some of the stuff that we bought, and then hopefully later on I'll do some recipes for you guys in a future video or blog post. So stay tuned if you want to see what I grabbed throughout my big trek to all of the grocery stores this morning. So first off, on my trek this morning, I um, stopped at Fresh Market, but I'll go into that in just a minute, but um, but on my way home before I had my breakfast, so I had some juice this morning, I had some um, green juice this morning, and then I went to Fresh Market and grabbed a couple of things because I really wanted something in particular from there, and then on my way home I stopped at Lowe's, and what I grabbed at Lowe's was this gorgeous basil plant. Can we just like revel in the size of this, first of all? Um, this is my beautiful basil plant. So I already have one, two, three, four basil plants, but you can never have enough basil, as I told Matt when I told him that I bought another basil plant. Isn't this gorgeous? It's humongous. So much pesto will be made from this plant, and I'm sure I will do a blog post on my pesto recipe. So yay, I'm super excited about that. I also grabbed a mint plant. Um, so I got a mint plant from a friend's driveway. Her or His mom had a bunch of mint in her driveway, but it wasn't the mint that I was looking for. It wasn't normal sweet mint, so I grabbed this. Um, Mm, it smells so good. I grabbed this this morning because we just really need a real like mint plant. I don't know what I grabbed from her. It was like spearmint or chocolate mint or something, but I wanted like a legit mint plant. So I got this so we can make mojitos and we can make mint juleps. I've never made a mint julep before, but I love mojitos, so we will definitely be getting some use out of this. So I'm excited! The reason that I wanted to go to Fresh Market this morning was because I really like getting their um, freshly made nut butters. So I got their peanut butter last time because I really like peanut butter on my pancakes in the morning, but I decided that I wanted to try almond butter instead because almond butter is a little bit better for you. It has a better macro ratio. So I decided to get almond butter and it was delicious. I had this on my pancakes this morning. I just spread a little bit of it on my pancake with some maple syrup and I also got some blueberries. These, This pint of blueberry was $1.99 at Fresh Market so I was really impressed with that and I decided to get some blueberries because I just love blueberries and they're delicious to snack on and they were super delicious with the almond butter on my pancakes with a little maple syrup. It was amazing. Like I said, I will be posting a blog post recipe about that because it was so good. 
So after I went to Fresh Market and then I went to Lowe's, I also went to Walmart. We just needed some kind of like basic stuff from Walmart. Um, so we tried to go there to just kind of get like staples and things and then we go to the produce stand and other specialty places to get other things that we need. But what I got from Walmart was some coffee. Got some 8 o'clock, 100% uh, Colombian Peaks uh, bean, whole bean coffee. So we have a coffee grinder. We like to grind our coffee in the morning. I don't really drink that much coffee these days uh, because I usually have my green juice first thing in the morning and it just kind of like gets me going for the day. But uh, Matt really likes to still have coffee and so does our roommate Bill. So yeah, this is uh, something that I got for Matt mainly, but I might have a little bit of it, especially on my weekend days. I also grabbed some granola. I don't really eat a whole lot of granola. So a lot of this um, stuff that I got was for Matt because you know he has certain things that he likes to eat and I have certain things that I like to eat. Um, just so you guys know, I tend to eat more of a plant-based diet. I don't really eat a whole lot of meat. I do eat some dairy, like I'll eat cheese and things like that, but I don't drink milk, um, anything like that. And I you know, tend to not eat a whole lot of meat. So you'll kind of notice a little bit of that uh, throughout grocery hauls and cooking um, little blogs that we do. But Matt does like to eat meat, so that's kind of the good thing is like he can cook you know, meat meals and show you guys recipes for that and then I can show you guys more vegetarian and plant-based meals. So anyway, so <laughs> Matt wanted some granola so I grabbed him the Bare Naked Vanilla Almond Fit. Um, this stuff's good, it's tasty. I actually like this but like I said, I don't really eat a whole lot of granola just because it doesn't really fit in with what I eat. I have my pancakes in the morning and my green juice and I'm good to go. But uh, he likes granola in the morning. I also grabbed horchata. <laughs> We're actually having a uh, potluck tonight. It's a Mexican themed potluck, so people are bringing over uh, Mexican style dishes. So I decided to get horchata because we normally would make some kind of alcoholic beverage or we would have beer or something, but we're currently trying to budget ourselves and we're also trying to just like cut out alcohol more because you know like Matt wants to lose weight and I just like generally realize that it doesn't make me feel great if I drink a lot of alcohol so we're trying to cut that out we were gonna make mojitas but we decided for our wallet and for our general health we decided not to do that so we're gonna have horchata which probably isn't much better but it was better on the wallet so mm -hmm. is that all I got from Walmart? Oh. Like I said, we are having a Mexican themed night tonight, so we are making jalapeno poppers. So I got some Philadelphia cream cheese. I don't think I really needed the two pack, but I got it just in case because I wasn't sure how much cream cheese we were going to need. Um, we will also be doing a recipe on the jalapeno poppers that we make because we got the recipe from Belize when we went to Belize this past spring and we had these jalapeno poppers at the restaurant that we went to and they were amazing. So we're gonna share that recipe as well, but we need cream cheese for that. I also got some chicken. This is um, chicken breast tenderloins. Oh, oops, I just realized that was tenderloins. I didn't mean to buy tenderloins. I meant to buy regular chicken breast. Oh well, um, <laughs> these are like the all natural ones from Purdue. Um, no antibiotics, all vegetarian diet, no animal byproducts, all that good stuff. So we just try to get, you know, more like natural chicken because chicken should be natural. You know, you get the big giant breasts in there. We call them monster chickens. They're just, it's just not, it's just not real. I mean, it is real, but you know what I mean. Anyway, we also got this mozzarella. This is the fresh mozzarella. Um, it's already pre-sliced, which is really nice. We like to make caprese uh, salads. Matt makes them for work. I make them for dinner sometimes. So um, really like to have this. So this is delicious. And at uh, Walmart, it's a good price. So like you can get the ball at the, our normal grocery store that's much smaller for pretty much the same price So you can get this, which is like more than twice as much as what you can get at the other store. So it's a good price. Also, I got more cottage cheese because cottage cheese is what I use in my pancake recipes. So I always have lots of cottage cheese on hand because for two pancakes it takes um, a cup of cottage cheese, which two pancakes is two different meals, but I eat it pretty much every day. So definitely have to have lots of cottage cheese on hand. Next, I went to our local produce stand and I love our local produce stand. I can go in there and get so much produce for such a good price. So at the produce stand, I always like to grab some eggs. This is the wrong thing of eggs, but I'm not, it doesn't matter. So at the produce stand, I always like to grab a thing of eggs. So he's always got fresh uh, eggs in the fridge there. So I always grab some eggs from him. So that's very exciting. I think it's like $2 for a dozen from him. Whereas like if you get the good quality eggs from the grocery store, it's like five bucks. So I love the price of his eggs. I think they're like, it's either two or 250 or something like that. It's a really good price. I got 
two bags of spinach because like I said we like to make caprese salads a lot and Matt likes to use spinach in his juice. He makes a um, like homemade like pressed juice in the morning and then I use my like super green juice um, which we will talk about in a future video. But anyway, um, so we have spinach which is delicious. I also got jalapenos for our jalapeno poppers tonight. So I got 13 jalapenos, so hopefully that'll be enough. I also grabbed cilantro, because Matt makes this um, cilantro like mayonnaise dip that goes with the jalapeno poppers, and I hate cilantro, but I just don't have that part of it. I don't, I don't like it. So do you like cilantro? Tell me if you like cilantro, because I have heard and I have read many places that it's a genetic thing whether you do or don't like cilantro. So some people think that cilantro tastes like dish soap, which is what I think. Um, so let me know if you like cilantro or if you don't better yet because I wanna know if there are other people out there like me because I've never met anybody else that says the same thing in person. Not that I would meet you in person, but like everybody else thinks that I'm crazy but it's a thing, Google it. Next, I got apples. So these are gala apples. We use these just to like have for snacks and also Matt puts it in his green juice as well. I also got lemons. I do warm lemon water every morning. So I got seven lemons, no, six lemons for um, the next week. So I either do half a lemon or a whole lemon depending on how much juice is in that particular lemon that I do. But that's the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning when I'm getting ready to have my breakfast is I have a glass of warm lemon water. So it's very good for you and it makes me hydrated first thing in the morning. Um, I also got limes because I'm gonna make some guacamole. So I need guacamole. I also got avocados for my guacamole. I got four avocados. He's always got a ton of avocados, which makes me very happy. I also got broccoli. Matt likes to uh, cook up chicken, and then he likes to either roast or steam up broccoli, and he kind of meal plans that and just has it for his meals for the week for dinner. Uh, during the week um, for lunch, he usually has a caprese salad or something like that. I also got these because they were really cute. They're um, summer squash, but they're not like the normal yellow summer squash. They're a little bit brighter. He had two, no. Yeah, two varieties, yellows, varieties. He had two varieties of yellow squash, so I grabbed these um, because they were cool looking. And I'm gonna put them with my um, lentils and spaghetti squash. So I usually make spaghetti squash and then I put marinara and lentils and I think I'm gonna put some squash on it too just to add a little oomph to it. That's what I usually bring for lunch for work. I also have snow peas because I like to snack on these. I just bring the whole bag to work with me and I just snack on them throughout the week. I also got a red onion so that I can make my um, guacamole tonight. I also got Roma tomatoes. So he always has these like beautiful, huge Roma tomatoes. So I got these for caprese salads. I also got them to put a little bit of tomato in my guacamole because I love tomato chunks in my guacamole. It is delicious. Um, last but not least, I got two bananas. Um, I don't really like bananas. Matt likes bananas, but the reason that I got them is I'm gonna cut them, um, or peel them and cut them in half and put them in the freezer, and I'm going to try to make nice cream because I've heard that nice cream is delicious and it doesn't really taste too much like banana. It's just a delicious frozen treat. So since it's summertime and it is hot, I figured a nice like frozen treat instead of ice cream made from bananas would be good. Oh, last but not least from the produce stand, I also got these beautiful flowers. Aren't these gorgeous? So these were a um, dollar a stem. So I made this whole arrangement for $4, $4. So it's got these, uh, I think these are hollyhocks, I believe. Aren't they, oh, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. Focus, okay, not gonna focus. I got a stargazer lily, which I have a stargazer lily tattoo on my back, so that's really perfect. And then I got these lilies and another hollyhock, so oh, it's just, it's so gorgeous, I just couldn't get over it, so I had to grab some of these, and they look beautiful. So last but not least, I stopped by the local grocery store here. Oh, I forgot that I got these at Walmart too. Stan Santitas, these are the tortilla chips that we usually get, they're two bucks. Um, so I got two bags of those for tonight for our potluck. Uh, last but not least, I went to the local grocery store here right in front of my house because I needed to get vegetable oil because we fry the jalapeno poppers. I know, I know, this is supposed to be like a healthy grocery haul, but like I said, I'm doing a potluck tonight we don't always make jalapeno poppers, but um, so I needed vegetable oil so that I could fry those up. 
I also got some balsamic glaze for Matthew. Let's see if that will focus. It doesn't really matter, but anyway, this is balsamic glaze. He is very particular about this. He likes to put it on his caprese salads, so it's actually really good. So he's He's right on point. But anyway, I got this for him to put on his caprese salads, and I also grabbed myself a spaghetti squash, because our produce stand, he doesn't normally have spaghetti squash. He has like butternut squash and things like that, but spaghetti squash is harder to find there. So I grabbed one of these because that's what I'm gonna make for lunch for the next couple of days for work. So it's gonna be very exciting. All right, that's all I got for my grocery haul today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you like videos like this, let me know, because um, you know I think that this is a great, great way to show you the kinds of things that I like to keep around the house to make sure that we stay on track for uh, having a healthy lifestyle. And also, a lot of this stuff kind of plays into some of the recipes that we like to make on a uh, regular basis. So I want to share those recipes with you guys eventually, and I figured this would be a good way to introduce some of the foods that we keep around the house and make delicious food from. So hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Let me know if you have any video suggestions, any questions, or let me know if you like this. Let me even know if you didn't. Tell me, tell me what you think. Hope that you guys are doing great. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye. Okay, hit it. This right here, drinking a coffee. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> this right here is my friend.